shipping your vehicle to the Alaskan wilderness need not be a huge chore. Let us show you how simple it can be and answer any questions you might have about it. The basics. The first and perhaps most important thing to do is plan ahead. Vehicle transport to Alaska takes time. You should allow at least one week and at most two weeks to be without your vehicle while it's being transported up north. Make sure to plan your journey to Alaska accordingly and remember that delays may occur. Give the company providing the transportation service at least a month beforehand. Expedited shipping is available but will be significantly more expensive in most cases. Before the carrier comes to collect your vehicle, you want to make sure that it's ready for them. This means your car should be clean, have a quarter tank of gas, have the roof racks removed, and have personal items taken out of the car. The cost. The cost will depend on a number of different shipping options. These include the size and model of the car, the season you're shipping in, and where you're shipping it from. For the sake of simplicity, typical car shipping services cost about a dollar a mile. Do keep in mind that you don't have to commit to anything before you find a price that works for you. Most decent shipping companies will be able to offer you a free quote so that you can assess the cost. The timeline. The time it takes to ship a car depends on the time of year, where you're shipping from, and the weather along the route. Another thing that you should take into consideration is the respective busy seasons of the carriers. Shipping in the summer will likely add a day or two onto your estimated shipping time. Shipping in the fall will have the inverse effect. The estimates that a carrier gives you are just that, estimates. There are too many variables for them to be able to guarantee an arrival date for your vehicle. So be proactive and plan for delays. The types. Pretty much any operational vehicle that you want can be shipped. You may be able to ship vehicles that aren't fully operational, but you'll need to check this with the carrier first. Call your shipping provider to discuss any of these sorts of shipments prior to trying to book one, just to be sure that they offer these types of shipping. The options. How your car is shipped will affect the price and the time frame for delivery. The majority of transport services will use open air. Open air carriers are the typical transporters with cars stacked on top of the back of a truck and individually dropped off at their destinations. If you're worried about weather conditions, then you can always opt for a completely enclosed carrier when you're shipping your vehicle. These trucks will keep your car safe and secure from all outside elements for the entire journey. The downside to this option is that it will most likely set you back several hundred extra dollars. Which option you choose is entirely up to you, and most carriers will be able to offer you multiple shipping options and additional upgrades if you want them. The end. Once you get to Alaska and your car has been delivered, you need to sort a few things out. This can include registration, documentation, and new plates. Check with the local DMV or Alaska's DOA website for specific details and answers to your questions. Get in touch with us today for a free quote. Our dedicated team of car shipping experts is on hand to help you with whatever you need. No matter where you are in the US, we can give you a quote and we'd love to hear from you.